Hi, I'm Brian Bounds from Yada. At some point in the life of an actor, you may be asked to do a Southern American accent, just like my students are doing for their scene work. So, being a Southerner myself, I've chosen an accent that should be relatively easy for you all to learn, and will give you a good starting point to switch around between Southern American regions, and that's the Alabama accent. It has the typical vowel changes present in most Southern accents, and it still works in the R's, known as roticity, which are found in most current Southern accents. You see, non-roticity in Southern American accents has met a grim fate, so keep that in mind. So to get started, it's helpful to think about the personality of the accent. So just remember the hottest summer vacation you've ever had. So hot that the ice cream trucks melt. And so hot that you can't get the dog out of the pool. That's a way into the Alabama accent. It's a slower delivery because it's a hot region. So people speak at a slower pace. Doesn't mean they're less intelligent. It just means that they're more laid back. However, Alabamans don't speak as slowly as other Southerners. It's a relaxed speech. Some words are glided over. For example, I was born and raised in a small town just outside of Birmingham. Lots of melody as well. Southerners are extremely nice and almost sing when they speak. Vowels and diphthongs are lengthened beyond general American, and so that's why it takes a little bit longer to speak. Stressed words are spoken on a higher pitch, and there's also a sometimes a rising tone at the end of the sentence. Now about the vocal qualities. As with most Southern accents, the mouth should be fairly open and the jaw loose. So massage your jaw a little bit and relax the jaw. You should feel that the sounds are focused in the back of the mouth and the tongue rests on the bottom of the mouth and doesn't feel the need to articulate that much. As I said earlier, the vowel changes of the Alabama accent are similar to other southern accents, so we'll go through the uh, original vowels and then go through the Alabama change of that, and I'm using the international phonetic alphabet symbols. So the A vowel turns into a diphthong, a two-stage syllable. It becomes A. So repeat after me. The man asks the tramps not to dance on the grass. The e eh sound turns to i. Eh. So Ben didn't get the pen in Memphis anyway. We have another e eh sound which turns to the diphthong e. Eh. So he bet his bed on the horse well bred. The I turns to a. She was seen to be evil in the streets where the bees feed. The diphthong I loses the second I and it becomes a shortened A. Ah. Try to tie the spy to the cut for a spy in flight. The rear vowel, aw, becomes another diphthong, and it becomes aw. The lawyer's daughter thought he bought the bonnet. The vowel sound, uh, becomes an aw. Cut the pizza in the hut beyond the rut. And the diphthong ow becomes ow. So it becomes a triphthong almost. Down south, the drought was about over. And the one consonant change I would mention is that the R's are pronounced, but they're softened. The other thing about living here is that the bugs are fierce. Let's try a practice sentence with these lengthened diphthongs. So I'll read through one sentence at a time, you repeat after me, and then we'll read through the whole thing. So the idea here is that the purple diphthongs should be lengthened and the red diphthongs should be both lengthened and spoken on a higher pitch. So it goes like this, repeat after me. I thought I was going to go downtown. I never did make it. I tried, but I never did make it downtown. 
Now let's try the whole paragraph. I thought I was going to go downtown. I never did make it. I tried, but I never did make it downtown. Now that we've got the melody of the accent, let's put some of those vowel changes into practice phrases. First, the a ah to the a ah sound. I'll read through each line and pause, and you repeat after me. Krabby Max was acting mad and ran fast down the path. His dad was simply asking him to get into the bath. My hamster sat inside my hand. to have a little snack. But when he clamped down on my thumb, I put my hamster back. Next, the e to e. Greta laid 10 eggs each day. Her nest was tended well. The problem was that every egg was empty, only shell. Next we come to the air to the air. I took a test on Wednesday to see if I could spell. I wrote the word that I know best. And that was Isabel. Then the I to the I diphthong. The centipede will persevere when crawling quickly over here. With many legs, he can compete. He is a tiny bug athlete. Then the diphthong I to ah. A wise old cat shined up a slide. And five white mice lined up to ride. The wise old cat had seemed so nice. Until he dined on five white mice. Then we have the uh to the aw. Uh. Grumpy glum is not much fun. He grumbles in his mug. Maybe grumpy glum just needs a cuddle and a hug. Then we have the diphthong ow to the triphthong ow. How now, brown cow? Up and down and in and out. Here and there and round about. Every chamber, every house. Every chink that holds a mouse. Now we're going to put it all together into song. So, let your hair down, let loose. And pay attention to those bowels. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, dwelt a miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy And her shoes were number nine Little boxes without topses Sandals were for Clementine Oh my darling, oh my darling Oh my darling Clementine You were lost and gone forever Dreadful sorry Clementine 
drove she ducklings to the water every morning just at night hit her foot against a splinter fell into the foaming brine oh my darling oh my darling oh my darling clementine you are lost and gone forever dreadful sorry clementine ruby lips above the water blowing bubbles soft and fine but alas i was no swimmer so i lost my clementine Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. When the miner, 49er, soon began to peak and pine, thought he ought to join his daughter, now he's with his Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. In my dream she still does haunt me, robed in garments soaked in brine. Though in life I used to hug her, now she's dead, I'll draw the line. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Don't forget to keep studying on this accent. Go to the International Dialects of English Archive website. It's a fantastic website with many different examples of Alabama accents and other accents. Also watch some YouTube videos as well. There's a wonderful video of an Alabama senator proposing to his girlfriend. And there was a senator named Howell Heflin. He has a really good, strong Alabama accent. A few final tips. Practice a little and often when you're working on a new accent and have a big glass of water and do a vocal warm-up beforehand with particular attention to relaxing the jaw. That'll further help you switch into neutral. Hope this helps, and break a leg, y'all. <laughs>